Hey everyone, this is Carrie with the Welty Environmental Center and we're here on the Turtle Creek Greenway Trail in Beloit today to talk about point bars and cut banks. So for those of you who don't already know, point bars and cut banks are key terms that we want to understand when we're talking about stream erosion. When a stream is flowing, they don't often tend to just flow straight. They often tend to curve and these curves are called meanders and a point bar is the inner edge of a meander whereas a cut bank is the outer edge of a meander. Where point bars and cut banks relate to river erosion is in the fact that water is moving a lot faster on the cut bank outer edge than it is on the point bar inner edge. So what happens is that fast water passing by the cut bank that water actually erodes sediment off of the cut bank and then deposits it on the next point bar. So what we're going to do today is take a walk through Turtle Creek and look at the various meanders that we see and point out the point bars and the cut banks. After that, we're going to build our own miniature stream table so we can see how sediment is moved through these stream systems. So we're part of the way into the trail and I'm actually standing on one of the cut banks right now. So if you can see the Turtle Creek is kind of curving around this edge right here. And we're lucky because uh, we got a lot of heavy rain yesterday and it's sunny today. So there's a lot of water in the stream today that is uh, carving away a lot of sediment. So on this cut bank, you'll notice here this tree is literally hovering over the stream and so it's important to remember with cut banks that uh, when there are plants like trees, bushes, grasses, the roots tend to stabilize the bank and keep the stream from carving away too much sediment. Um, so that's a good thing in this case because um, it's keeping the stream from completely carving away this cut bank and flooding the banks, which would uh, destroy this lovely trail right here. If I look across the stream, that is a point bar. So you'll see the water is moving a lot slower on that point bar. Uh, and there's a lot of sediment right over there that um, has been deposited by the stream uh, from the preceding cut bank. So let's go find some more meanders. So this is a little bit harder to see, but now I'm actually standing on a point bar. So you can see in front of me, there's a lot of sand and material that's been deposited from the cut bank that's a little bit further up that way. Um, but as I walk closer to the creek, I had to kind of whack my way through some grass to do this. Uh, but. The water is moving a lot slower right here on this point bar than it is just across the stream at that cut bank there. So I actually backtracked a little bit and went a little further downstream just so I could find uh, this awesome example of a point bar cut bank combo. Um, so I'm actually walking along the point bar and as you can see there's lots of sand uh, and sediment that's built up that I'm walking along here. And as I approach the apex of the curve of this meander, uh, I'm looking off at this great example of a cut bank. Uh, so as you can see, the water has really carved away a good section of that bank over there. Um, and it's just barely being held together by Again, it's tough to see, but uh, there are a bunch of roots of uh, the trees and the bushes on the other side of the bank that are hanging down into that cut bank. And that whole section there that's dark has just been carved away. Um, and also, as you can see, the water is moving a lot faster um, in those rapids over there on the cut bank relative to over here on the point bar where the water is moving pretty slowly. All right, so I'm back home from Turtle Creek and I've gathered up some sand to make this little stream table. 
that I've created. So all I've done to do this is just uh, take this bin right here. Uh, you can use a bin or uh, you can also just uh, form sand into a slope um, just in nature, wherever you find it. I just uh, put it in a bin because it was a little bit easier to show you guys what's happening here. So as you can see, I have formed my sand into a little slope and I've created a little miniature Turtle Creek. So I've got the headwaters or where all the water from the creek is coming from right up here at the top of the slope. And then I just made some little uh, meanders to simulate uh, what's actually going on in Turtle Creek. And here's the lowlands where the water is spilling out. So I'm just gonna gather up some water and we're gonna see what happens. As you can see on this first curve here, we did get a pretty nice cut bank uh, forming in there where the water actually uh, went all the way underneath there and created this little overhang, kind of like what we were seeing in Turtle Creek. So let's try that a couple more times just to see if we get any more results. So as you can see, this cut bank has really kind of smoothed out a little bit, but we still have that nice alcove um, and it's depositing uh, material right here um, at the beginning of this point bar still. Um, but as you can see, the stream channel has really widened out here um, as this cut bank has eroded away. And it's still fairly narrow here because that water is just moving nice and fast as it's coming now into this cut bank. So now we're gonna try something else. What I've decided is I don't want this cut bank to erode any, any more than it already has, um, because if we keep just pouring water in like we have, um, that cut bank is just gonna get wider and wider and wider. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone in and planted trees. Um, so I've just kind of gone and picked up some wood chips and other debris that I have found in my yard and I've planted it in there. These uh, little trees that we have here, they're gonna increase the stability of this bank um, just like the trees on the cut banks that we saw in Turtle Creek. As you saw just then, uh, we actually had a little bit of a flood event occur. Um, but what is interesting is that none of our trees that we had put in place here have gotten swept away in the flood. And the flood really started right after the point where we planted our trees. Um, it kind of spilled up and over this uh, point bar right here. Um, and right before the trees, you'll see that this cut bank has stayed uh, pretty well intact. Um, so in that way, you can see that having trees and bushes and other plants and things like that present next to our streams and rivers, um, they really do quite a fantastic job of keeping the banks intact and keeping the streams from flooding their banks. So that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed walking around Turtle Creek with me and finding some nice point bars and cut banks in real life, as well as making some of our own in this little stream table craft. So now you can go out and find those for yourself. And I'm definitely gonna keep playing with this for the rest of the afternoon. Have a good rest of your day, guys. See you later.